Hey, here we are again with another art lesson and we are totally gonna do some creepy art because we are looking at abstract portraits. But before we get started, I wanna hit you up with our art motto because we use this in each and every one of our classes. So, here we go. I'm always gonna ask that you try your best, be creative, and problem solve. In this lesson, we're gonna need a lot of problem solving and creativity because we're gonna be abstracting some portraits. Now, in this case, abstracting means we are going to take a loose interpretation of realistic art and turn it into something that's a little more focused on shapes and colors. Before we get started with anything, we're going to create different noses, ears, eyes and mouths for our project. I created a couple of sample sheets. This is my nose sheet. And then we've got some crazy mouths and my favorite eyes and some ears. What I want you to notice is that we're taking the concept of an eye and really playing with different shapes and lines and things to make it look completely different. For example, I've never seen an eye quite like this. Now we're gonna be using our organic shapes today. Organic shapes are those made up shapes that are kind of usually found in nature, uh, but in this case, we're just making up shapes as we go. So I hope you will enjoy this project. Let's get going as we use some of these wild organic shapes to create some spooky, creepy, abstracted portraits. So let's get going. Today in art, we will learn how to create abstract portraits using emphasis. We will do this by using organic shapes to create an abstracted portrait. We'll focus on our subject's distinguishing features. We will use colors and patterns and lines creatively. Have fun with this. This is such a fun project. I almost forgot. One of the things that we are gonna focus on this week is emphasis. Emphasis is that thing that points to or stands out most on your page. So this week, we are going to be doing these abstract portraits, and I chose my subject of doing um, some celebrities that I really liked. So this is my version of Zendaya. And one of her prominent features or most distinguishing features is that she has a very specific face shape and all of that lovely hair. She also has some big, beautiful eyes. So I really wanted to focus on those features for her and make them stand out. The next one is, oh yeah, who can forget Steve Carell or Michael Scott from The Office. He has a very prominent nose, and I really wanted to make sure that my viewers honed in on that and saw it front and central. So that is why I focused mainly on his shape of his nose. The next one is, oh, my favorite, Dan Levy. Now, he is known for having this great head of hair and also kind of a very long face. So I portrayed his distinguishing figures in that way. Now, I hope you can work on focusing on your characters or your subjects main and prominent features and make them stand out visibly on your page. So now let's really get going. Okay. I created a bunch of reference sheets to help me out so I could get my creative brain working. After I did my eyes, ears, mouth, and nose, I really just got to work by making a great big organic shape in the middle of my page. After that, I just sort of added all of the facial features. Some of them were ones that I practiced and some of them were ones that I made up on the fly. The possibilities are absolutely endless. But what you do wanna do is take a look at your subject's most distinguishing features and really emphasize those or draw attention to those right by making them very prominent or well seen on your page. Once I had my drawing just the way I liked it, I did some outlining and then I started with color. 
purposefully, I used colors that were not normal to skin tone and hair color. I wanted this to be really creative and to be a little more abstract than just a regular old portrait. Moving on to my next subject, again, I really tried to emphasize uh, the features of Dan Levy and his hair and his long face. And you know, I really had fun with this one and he kind of has like a Frankenstein's monster sort of look to him. Just let your creativity run with this. Have a good time and use those organic shapes all over your page. Try eyes shooting out at different angles. Things that are, you know, not matching on the face make your abstract portraits really, really interesting. Don't worry about being symmetrical or even realistic at all. Just have some fun. Now with this last one, I really did want to start in pencil. It gave me a little more confidence as I was mapping out my shapes and trying to get some of her proportions similar to what I thought her face would look like abstracted. Um, I think Zendaya is absolutely beautiful and I really just wanted to capture some interesting details on her face. I think this one is my favorite because it turned out so big and beautiful with all the luscious hair at the end and so many organic shapes. I feel like my eye travels all around the page for this one. So I hope you enjoy this project and just see what kind of fun characteristics pop out on the page using your organic shapes. got everything outlined and mapped out then I started using color and this time I laid down some watercolor paint and I used some colors that were really again not associated with skin tone because I wanted it to be a different feel and kind of a fun funky creepy vibe I think she turned out pretty good in the end but I really loved also layering colored pencil on top it just gave it some more depth and uh, extra color that I couldn't quite get from the watercolor paint. When I was done with my colored pencil, I saw that she just needed an extra pop, so I added some marker in addition to that. So it really turned out to be a multimedia project, but I love the way that everything came together. I hope you can see how we've used organic shapes to create our abstracted portrait and how we focused on our subjects distinguishing features and how we've used colors and patterns and lines in a creative way. I hope you had fun with this project and don't forget to keep on arting.